Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So firstly, I want to wish you all a fabulous 2021. May the year ahead be excellent for you and may you have many, many blessings. And I want to say thank you all to all of you for being there. Um, for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. For those of you who are my regular uh, viewers, I appreciate you all very, very much. And thank you so much for being there. And uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And um, yes, May 2021 be an easier year for you than perhaps 2020 has been. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. Uh, we are working with the Goddess Guidance Cards by um, Doreen Virtue. And we have option uh, one, option two, and option three right here. Go ahead, make your selection, and you can go directly to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, I'm just going to feel... What is it that you need to hear this week? Once again, we're working with the Goddess Guidance cards and this is your weekly oracle. And I feel the card is right here. Yes, this is your card. So once again, I'm shooting this in the middle of the night and there are crickets outside and I hope that sound is not annoying you. Please bear with me if it is. Um, I'm going to try to shoot these videos during the daytime in the future. It's, it's just been more noisy during the daytime, so it's easier to do this at night. So the card that you've gotten, for those of you who've chosen the option number one, is Mart. And um, the caption reads, Fairness. And reads here, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. And I feel like, you know, a few, a couple of years ago, as we entered 2020, I'd mentioned that what we're going to be working with is justice. And, you know, is there justice? And I think as we go along for the decade, that is really a theme. And it's interesting that this card comes up here because I feel more than anything, what's being said right now is that it's important for you to believe in justice. It's important for you to believe that things can be fair. It's important for you to recognize that um, there are possibilities for all matters to be handled in a fair and just manner. And be just believing in it will make a huge difference in helping you move forth and helping you to take the decisions that you need to take in your life but just believing that it can be fair that it, that there's a possibility for it will also help to make that possibility more um, of a possibility well more available more for, there's more of a chance of there being that possibility there's more of a chance of that being a reality and I think that if you are going to be quite convinced that there's it's not fair and it's not going to be fair and that's the way it is and that's because you know that's how they are or, or whatever if you have if you have that line of thinking what's going to happen is that you're going to erase the possibility of there being fairness could work in any area of your life whether it's your work whether it's got to do with your employers or whether it has to do with your schools or whether it has to do with your landlord uh, whether it has to do with the state or the country or the world as it stands. And I feel here that um, that is the most important thing for you no to know right now, that this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner, but not just for you to know that, but for you to believe that, for you to feel that. Feel what it feels like if there was fairness and feel what it feels like if there was justice and feel how that feels Feel the freedom that that gives you because that's actually going to bring something about in you that is going to be very, um, very empowering and it's going to give you a chance to be able to go forth with a new, um, with a new vigor. Okay, so if you're wondering, well, how does this apply to me? This really doesn't apply to me at all and I just don't think that this has anything to do with me at all then I want to say that as you go along in the in the month or in this week, at least, uh, be aware of things being managed in a fair and just manner. Uh, be aware of where that is happening and where it's not happening. And if you see a situation where somebody's not being treated fairly or something's happening that's not fair, just send a prayer to that person 
or to that situation and ask for it to be handled in a fair and just manner. And you're going to see that there is going to be a result. You're going to see that there is power in your prayer and the power in your words and how that situation resolves itself. All right. So I hope that's been helpful and I wish you all a fabulous 2021 once again and may it be a good year for you. All right. Many blessings to you all and I'm moving on to the next option. For those of you who've chosen the option two here, I've just uh, put out the cards quite untidily before me and I'm just going to feel what is the card that you need. I'm just trying to, I've got quite a tight shot here in those last weeks and um and I'm just going to try to feel what it is that um, is your card. Uh, yes, and that's the, the reason I have uh, the cards are placed quite entirely is because I've been trying to spread them out. But what happens is that they go out of the shot, you know. And so it's difficult for me to consider all of them if they do that. And of course I need to do that. So I feel like your card is this one actually. So the card that's come out for you, I feel is in such contrast to the to these shoes that I hear in terms of the colors, but it it does have the colors in there, but it feels so green. <laughs> and the card, of course, is green Tara. And the caption reads, start delegating. And it says, ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So um, I want to apologize once again for the crickets that are out there. And I've just not been able to really shoot this at any other time and um, yes it's somewhere where I am right now and the crickets are always at it and so the card here is it's talking about asking for help but not just asking for help from others but from for us ask, asking for help from those of you, from that which you believe so that which you have faith in um, that which you perhaps had faith in previously so asking um, your the form of God that you believe in or faith that you have um, to actually assist you in this. And, and of course, to start delegating, to actually give others an opportunity to be able to assist and to help and to be empowered. Um, and that's what happens when you actually start delegating, when you give more uh, power and you give more a responsibility to others you're actually empowering them in the process and you're not just empowering them but you're empowering yourself as well because you are learning how to trust others and how to um, give away some of the responsibility and some of the burdens and and just be able to trust that it will be okay and I think that you know when this card comes up start delegating the way I see it is that learn to trust more learn to give trust to others learn to trust the world you know so perhaps you don't have faith in those that you're delegating to but then ask for you know for help from someone else or ask for help from um from the from the divine ask the divine to support and to protect your project or whatever it is that you're delegating and so it's necessary um in this week as you go along to make sure that you're not doing everything by yourself to make sure that you're not under stress because you can't do everything by yourself because some of you might be in a situation where you can't really do everything by yourself or you want to be able to do everything by yourself but you actually just don't have the capacity to because maybe you are going to be too tired or you just it's going to deplete you financially or perhaps it's going to just um, frustrate you uh, because you're not able to get, do everything that you need to do. So I would say here, um, as you go along, take time to think about what is it that others could do for you, where they could help you. What is it that you're willing to release from your own grip so that others can perhaps do something, feel like they're assisting, feel like they are helping, and and there you are. You are comfortable in your skin and in your body and they feel like they are too and it's not like you are running around doing everything by yourself now if this isn't your problem <laughs> if you're not the one who has issues delegating um with uh your chores or whatever it is to others then i think the 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 
the reading here is talking specifically about asking for help as in praying praying just praying and and just asking for help in that way so not just you know being able to cope with everything and and having the capacity to manage everything but then just saying once a day or or as many times a day as you wish to that I acknowledge that I've received this help and I have the capacity to do this and I thank you for giving me the, the capacity to do this and I um I ask you to continue to do that. So whether it's the energies that you're speaking to, perhaps you're speaking to your higher self, perhaps you're speaking to a deity or a God um, that you believe in and uh, or an angel or angels, uh, whatever it is that you are speaking to, just acknowledge that that is something that you are receiving or that you wish to receive. And I think that is an important part of your week as you go along. Or it's at least it's practice. It's, it's like uh, practice doing that. Because that might become more relevant later on. Or it might become helpful later on at a later stage. And this is like an opportunity for you to practice that. That's the feeling I get with this card. It's not so much that it's needed this week you need to do this but rather that you just start delegating you start asking for help you start acknowledging the help that you receive and this is actually something that's going to be helpful for you when you need it the most okay so i'm wishing you all a fabulous 2021 once again i apologize for the sound of the crickets and i wish you a good one many many blessings to you all stay safe stay healthy and lots of love for me so once again, I want to apologize for the crickets uh, outside. I'm shooting this once again at night and uh, they are always going on singing away all night long. And I hope the sound doesn't disturb you. So we're asking this week, what is your Oracle card guidance? And I'm going to be feeling through the cards and seeing which one is yours for the week ahead. Now, I feel as I'm looking at these cards that there's one that's pointing out already quite um i feel it's this one what do we have we have a leap of faith by aim so for those of you who've chosen the option number three you've got goddess Ain, and the caption is leap of faith take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action so i feel like um you might have had a time where you needed to pause and not move forward with plans like perhaps towards the end of last year and now is the time where it's saying, well, take now it's time to make this happen. Go ahead, make your dreams come true. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Do all the administrative tasks that make your dreams come true. Take that leap. Try to make it happen and it will happen this time. Just put your faith behind it and, and try to make it happen. Don't be afraid. Don't wait any longer. Just go ahead and in this week, Take some steps to make your dreams come true or put your heart's act, true desire into action. So what is it that you truly desire? And rather, I want to go one step further and say, what is it that you truly desire, but that you're not able to give yourself or you just believe that it won't happen or it just won't, you can't make it happen? I, I want to say that this is a week where you can actually try to make it happen. Now, you might have had a lot of manifestation capacity towards the end of last year. And I feel that some of the things that you might have thought about back then, like perhaps in December, um, November, October, November, December, some of the things that you might have thought about that have not come to fruition, that you've been thinking, oh, well, it won't come to fruition because it hasn't already come to fruition. Well, I think that this week, is the time for you to take action and it will actually work. So you might want to send out those emails. You want, might want to send out those applications, uh, send, yeah, do those applications and send them in. You might want to uh, speak to somebody eh, and ask them for the help that you need. You might want to go somewhere to see something that you've needed to see that is important for you. Um, it's time to start believing again, believing that it can be true and believing that it can happen and to be able to take many steps like, um, you know, one step at a time to be able to get there and to be able to move forth and, and know that um, that you can actually make it, this happen, that it is possible. It's not just a dream. It's not just an idea that you have. And I feel here that this card is so... It, give, it has some other vibes to it, some divine underlining, underlining um, energy here that 
there is support, you know, it's like this leap of faith is not just faith in yourself and your ability to do it, but faith in in the world being able to provide for you what it is that you desire and with the with the effort that you put into it and so I think just go ahead and make that effort and make it happen uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll happen right now but I feel that these are the first steps and this is a week when you really have to put your heart uh, heart's desires heart's true desires into action and make sure that you are taking at least one step in that in that direction so where is it that you need to do this I feel that you might find some distractions this week you might be busy you might be thinking oh I don't have the time for this I might do that next week but it is important for you to at least try one thing you know make one phone call send out one email um, make one appointment where you are working towards your actual goals where you are being able to make your dreams come true and I'm not talking about just making something come true for the next six months or one year I'm talking about long-term dreams I'm talking about things that um, are permanent almost permanent in your life or in your record Um, and it could be something like you know embarking on a course of research or uh, purchasing something like something big could be you know uh, moving to a different uh, country or city or state and so it's about it's about actually making something like this come true and because i i've just given you three examples it could mean anything so feel what is it what is your heart's true desire what is it and i think part of this week is actually being able to feel that and seeing how it is that um that tugs you how is it that your heart tugs you towards what it truly desires and what it truly wishes for and allow that to lead you and to help inform your um, process um, your of, of, of making your dreams come true all right so I feel that that's all that there is in this message here I feel that um, yeah there is something else there is this idea that uh, something underneath you something might be like your fears or the fear that it, you're not worthy of it or the fear that you won't be able to make it happen or the fear that you won't be able to keep it once it happens um, or the fear that somebody's going to steal it away from you, or that it's just not possible in this world, is there as like a shadow underneath you that's kind of dragging you down. But I want to say that that's why this card has come up this week. It's come up because it's important for you to know that this is a week where you can take an action, at least one action, that will lead you towards your goals and will actually set the ball rolling, uh, as it were. All right, so good luck with that. I wish you a fabulous 2021. Make it happen for yourself and don't be afraid. All right, stay safe, stay healthy and conquer. All right, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.